Hey guys, Dave and Callie. And if you mention the AZ audit, you might get canceled. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Look at uh, what happened to Doug Tenapel. I mean, he had one strike on his new channel, and all of a sudden they just wiped him out. Um, just unbelievable. And it's mostly they're going after what he stands for. I don't think it's so much the words he's using, uh, because everybody's, you know, dancing around, not saying certain words. I know I've said a lot of those words, and. Nothing's ever happened, but maybe that's because I'm just a nobody. Uh, you know, I'm not monetized or anything. Uh, so that also reminds me, uh, make sure that you subscribe and, and give it a like and share with your friends. Anyway, uh, even Q, you know, it gets knocked down just because of what he stands for, I believe, not so much about what he's talking about. And uh, Nick Mosita brought up a good point where these guys are getting struck down after they took off what they thought might be against their the terms and conditions of YouTube, and yet they still struck them for it. They still you know took them down for it. So that's kind of a violation of the you know the the 230 deal that they've got going. But anyway, um, when we talk about the audit, everybody should be happy to have an audit. You know, whether you're Democrat or Republican or independent or libertarian, uh, you want to know that the audit was fair and, and it was, uh, you know, done properly. So even Joe Biden himself said, where you can manipulate the machines, manipulate the records. What? The one way to do that is, I think we should pass a federal law mandating that the same machines with paper trails be mandatory for every federal election. That will be a multi-billion dollar bill for the states because the states will have to make a choice then. They will have to make a choice whether or not they have two machines. We can't mandate, as you know, state elections. We can't tell the state of Delaware or Ohio or Texas yeah, right, what Joe. machines and what method they use to vote in their state elections. But we can do it federally. So in a nutshell, I think we should be mandating mandating that we have a paper ballot with a standardized machine, a standardized uh, requirement. And even Obama said... I want to be honest, it's not as if it's just Republicans who have monkeyed around with elections in the past. Sometimes Democrats have to. We've got no to way. have uh, a, I, I believe, a voting rights division in uh, the Justice Department that is nonpartisan and that is serious about you know, investigating cases of vote fraud. And of course, we all know that uh, President Trump brought it up several times too. And he was also, you know, I believe that he was banned for more than just what they called the insurrection, uh, what they say is speech. I think they just didn't like the fact that his, his tweets and things got people uh, motivated and excited and wanting to do something about and participate in their own government, which we should. This is a government of we the people and for the people. But somewhere along the line, we got lost. And the government is like our overlord and telling us what to do. I've been watching a, a movement going on. I don't know what you guys, you know, what all you watch on YouTube. But there's a lot of people now getting involved and in even it starts at the grassroots area, you know, like school boards and so forth. They're going in and just taking back their school boards, kicking the board members off. You know, they're, they're, people are coming up against that CRT and all the crazy things that are going on. And they're reminding uh, our government and our local government that this is you know, for the people and by the people, not for the government and by the government. Now we do give the government certain things and when we do do that, we're giving up some of our liberties. The more we allow the government 
to run things, you know, then we're also giving up something. There's always a price to pay. But anyway, uh, I hope you like and share, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. All right, bye. How confident should we be that this will be a fair election? To be a fraud like you've never seen. We have put together, I think, the most extensive and inclusive voter fraud organization in the history of American politics.